let's go pull out a stuck tractor. Let's get to it. So if you remember, I still had a little bit of swathing left to do. So a neighbor came by, helped me out and mowed the rest of the alfalfa, which helped me out because I just kept on tedding and I didn't want to stop and have to pull this uh, old uh, Alice Chalmers out of the mud. So it's still stuck here. And hopefully I can get this to pull it out. Don't know for sure, but we'll see. All right, so I got the chain hooked up to the swather here. I'm going to unhitch this swather and uh, basically, hopefully, Pull this swather very, very carefully. Pull it out of this mud pit. And then hopefully pull, be able to pull this tractor out. I got my uh, deep uh, walking boots here. So I can get in here. Alright, let's unhitch this. Alright, so I got that pulled out there. So I'm going to undo this chain here. And hopefully, I don't have a very long chain. So this is going to be kind of hard. The thing is, I got the king of mud here, the Bronco. Hopefully, it will hook on this old Alice Chalmers and uh, hitch it up and be able to pull it out. Don't know for sure, but we'll see. Unhitch this here quickly. All right, now we'll jump into the Bronco. Now comes the tricky part, trying to get hitched up and not get stuck. I say we just uh, swing it over there. There we go. All right, we got the beast hitched up, so I'm gonna make sure I have this thing in neutral. Uh, appears I have it in neutral there, all right. So uh, hopefully I can just pull this out without somebody helping me out and backing that tractor out, but we will see. I'm gonna pull really slow to get the chain tight. And then, uh-oh, uh-oh, digging down over there. Uh oh, dragging the tires. I thought I had it in neutral. We'll do a little power hops. Oh, I guess they're rolling kind of, but not really. Come on, you can do it. Oh man, get digging down a little bit. Ooh. All right, I think we're far enough now. All right, we'll undo this chain right there. Jump in this thing. Hopefully I didn't break anything. Uh, it's just a little dirty. Yeah, what do you think? Should we wash it or just keep it like this? Uh, of course we're gonna wash it. And this thing is so quiet. I'm not used to that. Seems like it's a little too quiet. I wonder if they messed with the exhaust because I... Alright, hitch this all up. Alright, I think we are good. Uh, I probably should, uh turn off my gas guggler. That would be the Bronco, by the way. So beast. That is a carburetor right there. Give everything a nice little wash off. So the hay is still a little bit wet, but we got rain in the forecast and I can't wait any longer. I mean, this much hay I gotta bail up and uh, rain around here just destroys hay in a lickety split. No time whatsoever destroys it. So I can't take the chance. I'm just going to bail it a little wet. Uh, I'm going to... I have an overhang, so I'm not going to put it in a barn or anything. So the chance of it catching fire isn't as likely. But... Sometimes you just have to do. I'm going to treat the hay with a little conditioner to keep it basically to aid the uh, decomposing and uh, get the bale getting hot inside, which causes fires or causes mold, all the stuff you don't need in your hay bale. Have the old uh, Malene over here that needs a washing too, so we'll wash these both up. All right, now that I got this washed up, I'm going to uh, park it in the shed over here. 
over here by the baler. Uh, I don't think this uh, old Alice Chalmers is big enough to run that baler. So I just think you need a little bit over 100 horse, and this thing just is right at it. So I, I'm not going to chance it. Uh, I think the 8230 just runs that baler pretty nice. It's a little bit bigger than what it needs, but with the wet conditions we got to deal with, that front wheel sis might be nice to have in the field. So that's why I'm not going to use uh, our old workhorse. That's another job I have to do is get the duels off that. All right, we'll leave that in there. Oh man, now I have to walk back to get my uh, beloved Bronco. Oh man. I just love the look of me in this Bronco. Just kidding. But love the look of this Bronco and the sound of it, that's for sure. All right, I'm going to get this back, put it in the garage, and I'm probably uh, going to take the Dodge, go pick up a rake I purchased. Uh, we need a rake on the farm, and I don't have one, so I'm just going to purchase one. All right, now that our Bronco's in there, shut that. Oh, I forgot to feed Gina today. Here you go, Gina. Sorry, I forgot. It's my bad. All right, I think I'm gonna jump in the Dodge and go pick up the rake really quick. Uh, the rake don't pull as easy because it's a really big rake. So, but it this Dodge should be able to pull it. I'll just have to go slow down the road. All right, so there's our rake right there. I'm get it hitched up, pay the man. So I got it for $15,000, which probably is a little too expensive, but Oh well, I needed a rake and I needed it quickly. I didn't have time to uh, wash around or try to find the best deal. Alright, got it hitched up there. So I'm a little bit worried. The front tires don't look like they're very far lifted up. Uh, pretty sure they're road. They're supposed to be lift up. But everything else seems to be alright with it. So this is a 20 reel rake so it's a v-rake all right i'm gonna go pay the guy and then start heading home quickly all right paid and let's see how this thing rolls so i guess it's not pulling as bad as what i thought it would be but it's still i guess the front tires turn and everything so i guess that's good Ooh, wow almost 70 mile an hour i better slow it down man i wasn't even these straight roads, you just go and you just don't even realize how fast you're going. Yeah, about blew the tires right off this rake. Alright, so we're going to pull in here. I think I'm going to use my Malene to pull this uh, rake just because I like using my nostalgic Minneapolis Malene. Uh, I just washed it all up. It's all cleaned up from the muddy uh, hay tedding. You ever see the hay tetter in mud? You want to talk about a mess. That is a, a mud slinging mess. Alright, so we just start this old girl up and hopefully get right into the field and start our raking. Yep, starts up every time. The good thing is this rake, the real rakes are ground driven so we don't have to have too much hydraulics on it. Is a hydraulic pickup right here which actuates the cylinder and lifts them up and down and uh, it's just a manual swing out type rake so we don't have much hy hydraulics hookups in this old Malene. They didn't need that many hydraulic hookups back in the day. So you see it's going pretty good so if you notice we cut that alfalfa really high. Uh, Primarily the goal in that if you saw how high we cut that alfalfa That's kind of why we cut it high because there wasn't much leaves on the ground I know there seems to be right now, but most of that's stemmy so the leaves were high So I ended up cutting it higher and because it was a little bit muddier conditions decided to cut it a little bit higher So I don't think we lost too much volume Looks like I uh, my cousin left little patches over here 
What's that about? See, that's how high that alfalfa was. It was high. I mean, that's almost on top of the moline. If you'd park this moline in there, you probably wouldn't even find it until you cut it down. So I want to go see what kind of job we're doing back here. Ooh, look at that wind roll. Yeah, so I, I think I'm going to need the... Uh, I'm going to need the 8230 to pull that baler anyways. I don't know how this alfalfa is still standing in the middle of this wind row. That's kind of odd, but I'm going to need it just to get over this wind row because this thing is high. I mean, this is almost waist high, if you see that. It's ridiculous. That's going to be a lot of round bales, like a bale here, bale here, bale here, another bale. Stop messing around and keep raking, I guess. All right, so I'm doing the outside passes here. I was thinking, I was just like, why when I was mowing this, did I mow it on the short pass? That just makes no sense. I'm such a dumbo. So I'm going to basically bail it the opposite direction or 90 degrees from when I mowed it. And I'm just going to head toward and away from the farmyard here. Uh, just because this field is so large. It's pretty long field if you think about it. So it's just a little over probably three-fourths of a mile long. So it's quite the distance back and forth. You see I'm making one heck of a wind row over there. So it should be pretty good yield off of this. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me sheep. You can say I lay a seed. You can say I weep. You think that using her would get to me. And if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I won't break my eyes. When it comes to her So I got quite a bit of rolls done over there. I got a couple paths around this field. We still have probably, maybe I'm halfway done. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. I definitely don't have a GPS on this tractor. So got to do it the old fashioned way. I use the 10 and two GPS, 10 fingers, two eyes. That's how I was taught how to use GPS when I was driving tractor. Looks like we, uh, I think I'm going to shut this down just to uh, run that baler a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to put take the duels off of the 8230 here quickly. Uh, and then I'll start baling this. I don't want to get too far and end up having to uh, re-rake it. The weather changes quickly. Uh, I think I'm going to back this up just so it's kind of out of the way. Uh oh, looks like I'm building a pile back there. We'll leave it right there. Oh man, shuts off hard. Alright, so I'm just gonna hop the fence right here. And uh, run over here to the garage, take off the duels really quick. I'm gonna have to move the Chevy out of the way. Alright, start this girl up. I know I put feminine names to all my uh, equipment, trucks, and all that. I don't know why I do it. I just do it. It's weird, I know. All right, so we got to get the impact, take the weights off, take the duels off. I just don't want to... I guess I could drive it, but probably I don't want to run over the 
alfalfa we don't need to, so I'm just going to take the duels off right now. Start taking these nuts off. Alright, take this side off. Alright, got them duels taken off, so now we just have to hook up the baler and start baling. Start this tractor up. This is a John Deere active seat. I don't know what active means in a seat. Maybe it's heated? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to find the option. It might be something I need to have. So if you don't remember, we took the Vermeer baler from uh, Iowa here. Hook this all up. Looks like we're hooked up. Got some weird bar. Got to remove this weird bar that's attached to the rear of it. It's odd. Alright, so we got the baler all greased up and ready to go. I'm going to have to bail a little bit. If you saw, uh, I don't know who was doing this raking, but who rakes a big old pile in the middle of the road like this? I mean, that wasn't me. No way that was me. All right, started up the baler. I just want to make sure nothing's banging around in it. We got the tension set right. We got enough wrap. All right, let's get started. All right, we're moving now. So we're bailing at 12 mile an hour. Already got a bail already. Let's uh, make sure it's... All right, uh, thought it would be a different color than that, but it appears that our hay was drier than should have been. Right, you can see we're leaving a little bit of the wind row. We can't get it all. It's a little bit unfortunate, but oh well. It's like we could go over a hair. Really gonna have to try to get in the middle of this row. Wish I had a bale counter on here, but We'll have to see how much bales we have later. Man, are we ever going to get a lot of bales off of this? I used to stay up all night, trying to find my place. Chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace. To leave me out of darkness, give me a little faith. Something to make me stronger, someone who could like the way. You came to me and you gave me reason uh, mm, 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 mm. I almost can't believe it Every time we touch I feel at home There's no way I'd ever let you go When you put your hands in mine I'm gonna be alright I don't know what you do to me But I feel like I am wake up to get this many bales off of it. Uh, we 
see I'm still only got that was one round around this field so are we going to ever feed our feedlot for a long time uh, we're obviously going to feed this to the horses too even though it's not really horse hay just because we waited too long to uh, swap it but it's not too bad so they should eat it I mean it does it is alfalfa I mean horses love alfalfa as long as it's perfect conditions but we are bailing it pretty dry here I'm really surprised we could keep such a nice uh, clean bales as big as these wind rows are usually when you get this wind row I mean just look how fast that percentage goes up just skyrockets up there usually when you get this big of wind rows it's really hard to uh, get a nice tight uh, flat bale like that I mean flat on one end it's really a rounded bale but you want it nice and straight you don't want a bow bale so it's harder to stack it doesn't look as pretty but usually round baling the faster you go the better looking bale you got at least in uh, my experience with them I have no idea how many bales I got but it feels like a lot like a whole lot it's a lot of bales over there so it seems like we stop every 50 feet oh man another bale so just barely get up to 12 mile an hour then we have to stop again and uh, make another bale I did have to put a piece of tin underneath the tractor there just so the wind row doesn't get hung up I was dragging wind rows just how high they are so when so bad problem when you got this big of wind rows pretty sure this field is gonna feed the whole county all the livestock in the whole county for a year no one will have to bail anymore for this year wow that's a lot of bales back up to what we raked 
Yes, I'm hoping this is half the field because, wow, this is going to take me forever if this isn't half the field. Uh, it's still got the mud hole to go around. Got a few areas to still go around, but man, it's going to take me forever. I got to pick these bales up, too. Ooh, I need a hired hand. Tractor's getting a little dirty, so it is a little muddy in areas around this field. The hay's still dry, though, so probably going to have to uh, put more cattle in our uh, feedlot just to get through all these bales this year because, wow, wasn't expecting this many bales. But I guess when it's uh, ear-tickling height for the alfalfa that you uh, end up racking up a lot of bales that way. Now, I'm really worried about this big old pile I got here. Don't know if this baler's gonna go around it, but we need to get back into the rake anyways. All right, we'll shut the baler off. Shut the tractor off so it don't start a fire with the hay. You gotta watch that. I mean, look at all them bales. Beautiful. I, I just really want to see if this baler can take all this. Probably end up stuffing it anyways, but we are going to see. Let's see if it takes it. Ooh, wow. Went through it. Not too bad. Looks like we got a little bit on the side there. Alright, so we got the gooseneck hooked up here. Pulling this big, long boy. I have no idea how many uh, bales I could put on this thing, but I bet a lot. Hoping I'm not gonna get stuck with my truck. Might have been a bad idea to grab this. Maybe I should have got one of the old semis. Probably would have pulled it better, but the truck, this Ram, is just more comfortable. I mean, look at all them bales. There's bales all over the place. Alright, so I'm gonna rush back and grab the, the 8400R and get that started up, and we're gonna start loading these bales onto the trailer. There we go. Pick that up nicely. Put that on the bale trailer. Put it right over there. And find another bale. It's nice when uh, it's so close you don't have to go very far. I think I'm going to pick this one up from the side. It's just easier loading it the way we are. Push it sideways there. There we go. Makes it easier unloading or putting it on this trailer if we do it that way. It's going to take a lot of time to load this trailer up. I think what I've loaded four bales, so four bales out of a hundred. It takes a little bit of time. That's why we stop baling to hopefully get these all these bales under cover. All right, we unloaded a, a whole load under our overhang there. And get these bales picked up here. I wonder if I could push these bales so I can pick up two at one time. That's the goal. Just lifting my whole tractor up with my spikes. Don't want to do that, that's for sure. All right, so we just unloaded the first load of bales over here under the overhang. So what do we got there? We got uh, 12 on top and 14 on the bottom. Boy, we may have well over 100. I don't have no idea how many we have, but we have a lot. Oh, I drove right through the mud. That was stupid. Uh, come on, come on, truck. All right, got out of the mud. We got a head over here, way over here by the, the 84. So when I unload them, I just basically uh, tie a chain around them and then just pull them all off the back end. That's how we used to unload them on back in the day in our farm. Worked out pretty good. 
All right, I'm gonna try to lift up two bales again. Attempt to. It's a little bit hard. I'm not the best at running this. Usually the easiest way is just to drag one like this. Kind of turn it a little bit. There you go. And then you just uh, go over here and try to get the other one like There we go, we got them picked up now. And we just head over here to our handy dandy trailer. Uh, put these up on it, like so. All right, got that bale put on. We are loaded down, so we'll take that over to our overhang quickly. And I, I think we're gonna have way more than four loads, but we probably did maybe even six loads might even be pushing eight loads so what I do is I basically I tie a chain to one of these poles and I just kind of yank all these bales off if you go just the right speed you'll get them nice and perfectly stacked see what I mean nice and perfectly stacked I'm just kidding I'm not doing that but I used to actually we used to do that you'd make a mess but we used to always do that in the field so especially when you're in a rush to get them under Man, oh man, so we got over 100 bales, so this is 104 to be exact. Look at all these bales here. So I still got more out in that field, probably at least another two trailer loads. So 150 bales in one day, it's not a bad day by myself, that's for sure. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe.